3D printing has been a pretty big deal for quite some time now. It allows you to go ahead and build anything from scratch using a modeling software based on what it needs. Now, this one here is the JG Aurora A5. It is a mid-grade level of 3D printing, and it's actually quite well. It has a touchscreen LCD screen, a metal housing, as well as a filtration system so you don't get that disgusting plastic smell. Now, if you wanted your very own, be sure to check out JG Aurora's website down below in the description. Now, now in this episode here, we'll be unboxing this thing, trying it out, and even 3D printing our very own Cosmo. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and see what this is about. All right, so this here is the box that it comes with. Uh, essentially, it's pretty heavy. Not sure exactly how heavy, but you can tell that it does require some effort. Uh, again, you know, it is a 3D printer, so kind of expected. Uh, so it looks like it's fairly wrapped, so let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's on the inside. Nice! So more or less, it seems practically built. Uh, you can actually see that we do have just a few different components. Now, usually when it comes to 3D printers, you have a variety of different things that you got to build. Uh, this here more looks more almost like a plug and play kind of setup. Uh, so we have ourselves our main unit over here. We have our framing. Uh, we have our roll holder, and then we have our roll. Uh, and we have it says here parts and toolbox. So this here will be consisting of our power cable, uh, a USB. Uh, this will essentially teach us how to go ahead and boot it as well as use it. Uh, we have ourselves a cable, a small little screwdriver, and a few nuts and bolts. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and put this together and kind of see it look at as a whole and kind of get a better feel exactly what kind of quality uh, 3D printer this is. So let's get started. So this here is our built product. Now, the build process itself was really not that bad, surprisingly. Uh, it's actually four screws uh, total on the sides and then uh, four screws on the bottom and then two screws on the sides in order to go ahead and hold the bracket as well. So it's pretty plug and play kind of feature. It's just kind of hard to kind of keep it together. Uh, this part here is a little flimsy, so just be careful when you do put it on its side, it might collapse on you, uh, which it happened to me and actually bent the frame on the bottom. But you can always go ahead and like bend it right back. So just keep that in mind when you're actually building it just to kind of like keep it securely mounted uh, as this main frame right here is actually quite heavy. Now we're all set and ready to go. So we have a uh, USB. Uh, one side has our USB port and the other side has an SD card slot. Uh, so the way it works is kind of interesting. So you plug this into the computer, you upload your uh, 3D printed file onto the SD card, and then you take the SD card and just simply place it into here. And then you go ahead and hit start based on whatever settings you want. So it's actually a really simple plug and play kind of setup. So let's go ahead and set this thing up. Uh, we have our power cable here, so it's gonna plug this in next and uh, get printing and see what happens. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. Um, we're gonna go ahead and grab the SD card next and we'll go ahead and download a file and try this out. Now, this here is a Cosmo file I found online. Uh, essentially, it's a 3D model version of Cosmo. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click on file and we can go ahead and click on save uh, the G code right over here and then save it onto the SD card, which we'll go ahead and plug and play into the 3D printer. Now it's quite easy to use, so let's go ahead and grab our SD card and just slide it right in just like that. And then from there, go into the menu and click on print and find our file. So here's Anki Cosmo. And then we'll click yes to print. And from there, we'll just go ahead and wait and see how this turns out. Let's try this out. This here is our 3D printed Cosmo, and it actually came out phenomenally amazing. I mean, I love all the small details and all the small pieces to it. Uh, we did have a little bit of a drip here on the side, uh, but you can always go ahead and fix that by using arches. Uh, and we actually did have a, a, like a little raft on the bottom there, which we kind of like just peeled off. Uh, this will kind of give it a nice support in terms of building it. 
Uh, sometimes, especially when it comes to like a larger item here, if you don't have a nice support, it'll actually fall apart. So just keep that in mind. Now, this piece itself took about six hours to print, uh, which is uh, quite an amount of time. But if you kind of just leave it to the side and kind of come back to it later, you'll probably realize it's a lot quicker than you think. Now, if we were to do a one on one size, it would take a full 36 hours, which is quite a lot amount of time. But again, you know, surprisingly, it's actually very, very heavy and it's very sturdy. Now, in size comparison to a regular Cosmo, you can see that it is significantly smaller, which is pretty cute, I have to say. Uh, definitely will look really cool if we can go ahead and paint it. Maybe we'll try that right after this. But yeah, very nice and very unique. Now, this here is the JG Aurora A5S 3D printer. Uh, what I really like about it is that it's very easy to use. Uh, the plug and play aspect and the software is very simple to use. You just go ahead and drag and drop and from there you just upload it to an SD card and just go ahead and play from there. Now the touch screen is a very nice add-on feature. It kind of gives it more unique or more futuristic feel compared to most other 3D printers. Uh, and again, this thing does not make much of a smell or is it not that loud as well, which is great. Uh, it's a very quiet machine and it's very easy to use. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and if you had any questions about the A5S, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.